Hello friends, in our previous lecture, we have started with the accounting treatment of goodwill, that is second topic of the chapter. As I said, it is having six subtype of cases. Yesterday we have taken its introduction that what is this premium of goodwill and what are the different cases when a old partner is gaining or not gaining and uh, what are the format of journal entries and also we have completed case 1G. Now today we are going for the case 2G. Calculations format will be same, only little bit changes will come. Okay, so case 2G. Heading when premium for goodwill is bought is brought in cash. By new party, and it is retained, and it is retained in bracket, not withdrawn. Means the premium of goodwill is brought in cash only by new party. But it is not withdrawn, means old partners are not withdrawing. So if we are looking the format of our journal entry, first entry is to write off the old goodwill. Second entry is for bringing the capital by new partner. Now 3, 4, 5 is the link for bringing the premium in cash, cash to premium, for distributing it within the partners, premium to partners and for withdrawing partners to cash. So last entry will not come, other old points are same. Nothing is the change. Okay. That thing only is to be written. As per the format, comma, all the journal entries will be made, will be made, except, except entry number 5, except entry number 5. For withdrawal as premium of goodwill is to be retained. All the entries as per journal entries format will come except the fifth entry which is for withdrawal because the premium is not withdrawn by the old partners and before starting the sum as i said we need to before starting the journal entries we need to make some necessary calculations first calculation is sacrifice ratio it would be dependent on the information of the question and it is as per case one to eight the information as per given we have to calculate on that basis sacrifice ratio Second calculation is share of new partner in goodwill. That formula is new goodwill into share of new partner. New goodwill and old goodwill, two goodwill are given. So the goodwill which is valued is new goodwill and goodwill which is shown in balance sheet that is old goodwill. Okay. Then if any old partner is gaining then he has to pay the goodwill for that new goodwill into gained share. After that we will make the journal entries and some will be completed. So today we are going for case 2. There are in total 4 sums. So question number 4, second sum we are going to do. On page number 205. Everyone come on page number 205. Question number 4, second sum. Question number 4, second sum. So after reading the sum, we will make the calculation and we will write the journal entries. That's all. And this will come as a single adjustment in big sum. Okay. A and B are partners in a firm. C admitted as a new partner for 1 by 4th share. C brought 80,000 as capital and proportionate share of goodwill. Goodwill is valued means, goodwill is valued means this is new goodwill, not old goodwill. So friends, first of all we have to make the necessary calculations. Okay, we will give the idea. Necessary calculations. The first necessary calculation is sacrifice ratio. 
Now you identify the information given in question. In question, old ratio is not given, so old ratio will be same, equal. Share of new partner is given and nothing else is given. So this is like case one for that PNL ratio. When old ratio and share of new partner is given. And we have to not calculate new ratio so that whole process is not required. We have to only identify sacrifice ratio. Now if you look the points of case one, you will find that when sacrifice share, sacrifice ratio, nothing is given, old ratio will be equals to sacrifice ratio. Okay? For that you know the things properly. A is to B, old ratio, 1 is to 1. Hence, sorry, no hence, old share, 1 by 2 each. Then, share of new partner C is equals to 1 by 4 ok nothing else is given thus old ratio is equals to sacrifice ratio is equals to 1 is to 1 as no other information is given so our sacrifice ratio is same as old ratio now second second calculation is share of new partner C in goodwill. Now for that formula is new goodwill multiply share of new partner C. New goodwill is given in the sum as 1 lakhs. Share of C is 1 by 4. So share of goodwill will be 25,000. Now see, in necessary calculation only two calculations will be done. The reason is that here no old partner is gaining, all are sacrificing, both old partners are sacrificing, so third calculation is not required. Third calculation is required at that time when any old partner is gaining, but that is not the thing. So necessary calculations are over, now we will give the heading journal. Number one. So first we should see any old goodwill is appearing in the books. No old goodwill is not there. So ignore that first step. But don't change the number. Here you have to give the first number only. But first see according to the format. Any old goodwill is given in the books. No it is not given. One leg is the new goodwill. So old goodwill is not to be written. Again see in the sum. New partner is bringing the capital. Yes new partner is bringing the capital of rupees 80,000 as cash. So we will write the entry. Cash account debit to seize capital account. To seize capital account, the amount is rupees 80,000. Now as per our format, third entry is for bringing premium of goodwill in cash and he is also bringing the premium of goodwill in cash. So the entry would be cash account debit to premium for or premium of goodwill account. Now, premium of goodwill is this share only, okay, nothing else, 20, 25 pounds. So, first entry is about old goodwill, that is not there, second entry is about capital, third entry is about cash to premium, uh, now the next entry is for distribution. Now, to distribute this premium, premium would be debit and partners would be credit. Premium for goodwill account debit to A's capital or current account to B's capital or current account. Premium is 25,000. It would be distributed in sacrifice ratio and sacrifice ratio is equal 12,500, 12,500. Now the sum is over. Why? Okay, I am explaining. In the question, old ratio is not given, so it is 1 is to 1. Share of new partner C is given 1 by 4. And they are telling a, a new partner C is bringing 80,000 as capital and his share of goodwill in cash. But how much we don't know. We have to calculate. And the new goodwill of the firm is 1 lakh. Now as per this information, necessary calculations are made is first sacrifice ratio. Here according to the information only old ratio and share of new partner is given. So at that time old ratio will be equals to sacrifice ratio and it is equals to 1 is to 1. Second calculation is share of new partner C in goodwill. The formula is new goodwill into share of new partner C. We have calculated it as 25,000 and he is bringing in cash. 
Now, the next calculation necessary is not required because no old partner is gaining. So, that is not required directly going for journal entry. Now, we have to remember the format of journal entry. First entry is regarding writing of the old goodwill. Here, no old goodwill is there. Here, only new goodwill, one lakh is there. So, that entry is not coming. Second, if new partner is bringing capital in, <coughs> capital in cash, then that entry is required. Now, capital is given. So, cash to capital. Next entry is regarding bringing premium of goodwill for cash. So, it is given 25,000. So, cash to premium 25,000. Next entry is regarding distributing the premium. So, premium to partners. Now, partners are not withdrawing. So, last entry partners to cash is not required. They are just distributing them in sacrifice ratio. So, the sum is over. Now, we are going on third sum. So, this is only the information. Okay, this is only the method to solve the sum. Nothing else is there in this sum. Very easy. But the important thing is that you must know from case 1 to 8 what is the information given and how to do the calculation. Okay, now again we are going for third sum which is of case 2 only. A and B are partners sharing profit and loss in the ratio of 2 is to T. All this ratio is given. Admitted C as a new partner. C brought his share of capital and goodwill rupees 40,000 rupees 60,000 in cash. So C is bringing his capital 40,000 and his goodwill 60,000. So share of new partner in goodwill is all, all, already given. We don't have to calculate it. At the time of C's admission, the balance of goodwill in the balance sheet, underlying balance of goodwill in balance sheet, this is old goodwill 30,000. So entry for writing of old goodwill will come. And new PNL ratio is 3 is to 5 is to 2. Okay, so in this sum, old ratio and new ratio is given. Now, to calculate the sacrifice, old share minus new share. Now, you have to remember these things. When old and new both are given, then sacrifice is new minus, uh, sorry, old minus new. Okay. So, we give the heading. Necessary calculations. Now, in that, number one, sacrifice ratio for that A is to B is to C, old ratio, 2 is to 3, here dash, old share, 2 by 5, 3 by 5. New ratio 3 is to 5 is to 2, 3 is to 5 is to 2. New shares 3 by 10, 5 by 10, 2 by 10. Now, when new and old both are given, sacrifice is equal to old share minus new share. Sacrifice of A. A's old share is 2 by 5, A's new share is 3 by 10, 10 5's are 50, 10 2's are 20, 5 3's are 50, 5 by 50. Sacrifice of P, old share 3 by 5, new share 5 by 10, 10 5's are 50, 10 3's are 30, 5 5's are 25, so 5 by 50. Now, A is to B, sacrifice, uh, sorry, sacrifice ratio, 5 is to 5, sacrifice ratio, as we were finding the new ratio, 1 is to 1. So, first calculation, sacrifice ratio is over, third calculation will not come because no old partner is gaining, so third calculation is not required. Now, for second calculation, it is not to be done, only to mention, share of, new partner C in goodwill. Formula is not to be kept as 60,000 is given directly. Given. Okay. So, calculations are over. Now, let's go for journal entry which are necessary. Okay. Again, I am repeating for this sum. In this sum, old ratio and new ratio both are given. So, sacrifice is calculated by the difference of old share and new share. Then second calculation is about share of new partner in goodwill, but here share of new partner is good, goodwill in directly it is given. 
so we don't have to put the formula and have to then third calculation will not come as no old partner is gaining so that calculation is not required now we are going for the necessary journal entries okay from the sum you have to find out any old goodwill is appearing in balance sheet here it is appearing and with rupees 30000 so we have to write off the goodwill now goodwill is a debit balance to write off it partners to be debited goodwill is to be credited is capital or current account debit b's capital or current account debit to goodwill account and this would be distributed in old ratio so the goodwill is rupees 30000 30000 in the old ratio 2 is to 3 so 30000 divided by 5 multiplied 2 is 12,000 and equals to 3 equals to is 18,000 number 2 okay as per the format first entry is for writing of the old movie second entry is for bringing the capital C is bringing 40,000 as capital as cash so cash account debit to C's capital account 40, 40,000 Now as per the format, third entry is when new partner is bringing premium of goodwill in cash and it is given as directly 60,000. So entry would be cash account debit to premium for goodwill account amount is 60,000. Fourth entry is for distributing this premium. So cash to premium, now the entry would be premium to partners. Premium for goodwill account debit to A's capital or current account to B's capital or current account. Now this premium is for 60,000. It is to be distributed in sacrifice ratio, not the old ratio. Sacrifice ratio we have obtained as equal 30-30,000 each. Okay, sacrifice ratio 30-30,000. Now the sum is over. As they are not withdrawing, so last entry is not required partners to cash. Again I am repeating. These calculations I have explained now, I am repeating for the journal entries. In this sum, a necessary journal entries as per the format, old goodwill is given, so we have written off. Second entry is regarding the capital, he is bringing the capital of 40,000, so cash to capital 40,000. Third entry is regarding bringing the premium for goodwill in cash, so cash to premium 60,000 is given. Next is to distribute, so premium to partners, and next is for withdrawing, but in this case, case 2G, partners will not withdraw the goodwill, so premium to partners only is required. So this sum is also Okay, now we are going for the next sum. We have to just write the journal entries and make the calculation. Nothing else is there in this type of sums. Now we are going for fifth sum. Question number four, sum number five. Page 206, fifth sum. X and Y are partners selling profit and loss in the ratio of 1 is to 3. Old ratio is 1 is to 3. Z is admitted as a new partner. Z brought 65,000 as capital, 36,000 as share of goodwill in cash. So his capital is given and his share of goodwill is also given, so we don't have to put the formula. After Z's admission, all the partners decide to distribute the profit equally. So the new ratio is also good. Now this sum is totally same as the previous sum. Because old and new both ratio are given, so sacrifice ratio would be simply calculated. Second calculation is not required, directly its answer is given. So let's find if any partner is gaining, then it's possible or not. Okay? So A is to B, sorry, here there are X and Y. X is to Y is to Z. Old ratio. 
1 is to 3. 1 is to 3 and dash. Old shape. 1 by 4, 3 by 4. Now, new ratio 1 is to 1 is to 1. New shape 1 by 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 3. Now, sacrifice is equals to old shape minus new shape. Sacrifice of x, old shape 1 by 4, new shape 1 by 3. Fourth is are 12. 3 ones are 3, 4 ones are 4, minus 1 by 12. Now friends, this is in minus, so actually one old partner named x is gaining instead of sacrificing. Okay. Then sacrifice of y, old share 3 by 4, new share 1 by 3, 4 threes are 12, 3 threes are 9, 4 ones are 4, 5 by 12. So we will try here ratio is not possible here only y will sacrifice in 5 by 12 share and x will gain in 1 by 12 share so now one thing will be different third calculation will come as one old partner is sacrifice is gaining instead of sacrifice. Second is share of new partner sell in goodwill. Now it is given already 35,000 rupees. I think 35,000. 36,000, not 35,000, 36,000. And in bracket we will write third calculation. Would be payable by old partner X because he is gaining instead of sacrificing, so he will also pay the goodwill to sacrifice in part. Now its formula is new goodwill into gained share. Okay, friends, in the sum, new goodwill is not given. Now what? In the sum, new goodwill is not given. Now what? So this sum is little bit important. New goodwill is not given. Then how can calculate this? So here make question mark and here write one by twelve and here also write question mark in the answer. Now for this we will find the new goodwill. Below we will write down. New goodwill's calculation. For that only one thing is there. What is the formula for share of new partner Z in goodwill? New goodwill into share of Z. Now new goodwill is missing. Share of Z is thirty six thousand and share uh, share of X is thirty six thousand. Share of Z is thirty six thousand and also is uh, new share is one by three is given. So we can find out in such a way. Share of new partner Z in goodwill is new goodwill into share of Z. Share is given as 36,000. New goodwill we don't know. And share of Z is how much? 1 by 3. We can obtain from here. Now, 36,000 into 3 by 1 is equals to new goodwill. So, new goodwill will be 36,000 into 3 is 1 lakh 8,000. So, friends, in this sum, this sum is very important as new goodwill is not given, but we can take hint from here. See, 
for last two sums we have not written the formula for this but formula is new goodwill into share now his share in goodwill is given his new goodwill is not given and his profit share is given as 1 by 3 so the missing value would be goodwill now that new goodwill will be used here 1 lakh 8000 into 1 by 12 so it will be 9000 ok 1 lakh 8000 into 1 by 12 is 9000 so goodwill payable by old partner x would be 9000 now we are writing the journal ok for the first entry old goodwill is to be written off anywhere in the sum old goodwill is not mentioned so the first entry of writing for old goodwill is not required second entry is regarding bringing the capital in cash so is bringing the capital in cash so entry would be written cash account debit to Z's capital account amount 65,000 number 2 and as per the format number 3 now new partner is bringing premium of goodwill in cash so entry for that would be cash account debit to premium for goodwill account now it was given already 36,000 see again I would like to repeat for writing the journal entry you remember the format in your mind that when a old goodwill is given it is to be written off but in this sum old goodwill is not given so ignore now think of when new partner is bringing capital so cash to capital after that next entry is about bringing the premium of goodwill in cash so cash to premium for goodwill now the next entry is for distributing now understand the next entry is also little bit important as listen here properly whenever we have to distribute the premium the entry is premium account debit and partners account credit but here one old partner is not sacrificing instead he is gaining so entry would be slight change entry would be premium for goodwill account debit X capital or current account debit. Why he is debit? Because he is gaining to Y's capital or current account. Always the partners are so normally the entry is premium to partners because in most of the sums partners, old partners are always sacrificing. But sometimes if any old partner is gaining instead of sacrifice then he has to pay the set. Like see Z is paying the set so premium is debited instead of name of Z. Then X has to pay, he, is, he don't have to receive, he has to pay so he will also be debited and Y will be credited. Now the amount for premium is 36,000 from the previous end. Now X capital should be debited with 9,000 because we have calculated how much good will he will pay 9,000. and. Mr. Y will get 45,000. Now, if you need, you can check. How you can check? Here only Y is sacrificing in 5 by 12. Let us check. New goodwill is rupees 1 lakh 8,000. And Mr. Y is sacrificing 5 by 12. So, multiply 5 by 12 is 45,000. Mr. X is gaining 1 by 12. So, he is debited instead of credited. So, always remember. When? any old partner is gaining instead of sacrificing then his account would be debited instead of credited. So friends, now fourth entry for withdrawal is not required so again this sum is old. What was in this sum? Old and new shares were given. While calculating sacrifice one partner has gained instead of sacrifice. So third, three of the calculations have come. Second, we have not put the formula as the things were given. Now for calculating goodwill payable, new goodwill is not given. But we can take the base from second point that this share of new partner in goodwill premium is given and this sale is also given, profit share is also given. So we can calculate the goodwill. So goodwill was 108,000. Now old goodwill was not given, so one entry that is cut and last entry is cut. So remaining three entries have been done. And remember, any old partner is gaining instead of sacrificing, his account will be debited instead of debited. Now we shall go for the next sum that is. Sixth sum. This is the last sum for today. Then our PS2 will be completed. Okay. So now.
now we are going for sum number 6. Now in this, in this sum you can see new partner is not bringing the capital so that entry will be cancelled. So in necessary calculation first will be sacrifice ratio M is 2, N is 2, O is 2, P. Old ratio 4 is to 3 is to 3 dash. Old share 4 by 10, 3 by 10, 3 by 10. Dash. Again, new ratio is also given, so sacrifice formula will be used. New for uh, sorry, new ratio is 1 is to 1 is to 2 is to 1. 1 1 to 1. So new share 1 by plus 1 2 2 plus 2 4. 1 by 5, 1 by 5, 2 by 5, and 1 by 5. So first, first let's calculate this. Sacrifice is equals to old share minus new share. Sacrifice of M. M's old share is 4 by 10. M's new share is 1 by 5. 5 10s are 50. 5 4s are 20. 10 1s are 10. 10 by 50. Okay. 10 5s are 50. 5 4s are 20. For 10 ones are 10, so 10 by 50. Sacrifice of N. Old share 3 by 10. New share 1 by 5. 5 10s are 50. 5 3s are 15. 10 ones are 10. 5 by 50. Sacrifice of O. 3 by 10 minus 2 by 5. 5 10s are 50. 5 threes are 15, 10 twos are 20. So again, one more partner is having minus. So this will be gain. Again, this sixth sum also is important. Fifth and sixth. Okay. Now, uh, gain sacrificing partners are M and N. So sacrifice ratio between M and N is 10 is to 5. Sacrifice ratio finally is 2 is to 1. And partner O will gain in 5 by 50 or we can cut 1 by 10 share. Okay. So again one old partner is gaining. So his account is to be debited again like in distribution we have done now instead of crediting. Okay. Now share of new partner P in goodwill it is already given 40,000 as one new pa one old partner is gaining we have to calculate still third calculation. Goodwill payable by gaining partner O is equals to new goodwill into gain share. Now again I would like to say that this new goodwill is not there in the sum ok so again you leave one line and this gain share is 1 by 10 below 
again you make the box. Again, like the previous sum, you take the base from here. From this, we can find the new rule. Share of new partner P in goodwill. What is their formula? New goodwill into share of P. His share premium goodwill is 40,000. <coughs> New goodwill we don't know. We will find it. And P's share in profit is 1 by 5 from here. So 40,000 into 5 by 1 is New goodwill. Therefore, New goodwill is 2 lakh rupees. And that same thing will be again used here. 2 lakhs into 1 by 10, the answer will be 20 rupees. Again, I would like to repeat like the previous sum of this sum is there. Here there are 4 partners, including the new partner. Old ratio is given, new ratio is given, sacrifice ratio is this. One partner is gaining instead of sacrifice. So he has, uh, so he has to pay the goodwill. Share of new partner in goodwill is already given but again for new goodwill this formula is to be kept because we need new goodwill. Now again we are going for Chaurman. <coughs> First entry according to the format is to write off the old goodwill. Here old goodwill is given rupees 50,000. Now goodwill has debit balance to distribute it. Partners, old partners will be debited and goodwill would be credited. M's capital or current account debit, N's capital or current account debit, O's capital or current account debit to goodwill account. And it would be old ratio. <coughs> now, goodwill is rupees 50,000. It is to be distributed in old ratio. So 50,000 divided by 10 into 4, 20,000, then 15,000, then 15,000. Second entry according to the format is when a new partner is bringing the capital. Now in the sum you can see new partner's capital is not given because he is not bringing the capital. Okay, so ignore. Now the next entry is for bringing the premium of goodwill in cash. So the entry would be cash account debit. Two premium for goodwill account and it is given 40 40,000. It is given in the next book. Now, the next entry is for distributing. Again, for the distributing, all partners, all old partners will not be credited because M and N are sacrificing, O is gaining. Okay, so how to write the entry instead of crediting O, we will debit O. So premium for goodwill account debit. O's capital or current account debit. And why he is debited? Because he is gaining. 2. M's capital or current account to N's capital or current account. So a simple logic you have to remember. All the old partners are credited if all are sacrificing. If one of them is gaining, then he is to be debited. Now premium we know 40,000. Would we payable by him is we know as 20,000. Now 40 plus 20 is 60. 60,000 is to be distributed in 2 is to 1. So it will be same. 40,000 and 20,000. Why it is same I will explain. 40 plus 20 is 60. 60,000 should be divided into 2 is to 1. So again it would come divided by 3 into 2. 40,000 and e is equal to 2 is equal to 20,000. So when remember when an old partner is gaining instead of sacrificing, he is to be debited instead of credit. So friends, this sum is also one. And withdrawal is not there, so we are not making the last entry. So friends, today we have completed case 2G, where the last entry is neither, neither come. Last entry for withdrawal is not coming because partners are not withdrawing their goodwill. Plus we have learned two more new things. 
that when a new goodwill is not given and directly share is given, then in that formula we can find the new goodwill. Also, any old partner is gaining, so his account is not to be credited, instead he is to be debited. So till then, write these things, send it to me properly as soon as possible. Till that time, that's all for today. Thank you so much.